Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinetta Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 The Valkyrie playthrough. Today we're gonna go on Operation Hammer Toot with the following ladies. Jacqueline, Erica, Hilda, Kelly, Heidi and Marina. About four of these can still get promotion so that's exactly what we're aiming for again today. If we succeed in our mission we're gonna get another specialist colonel so a completely upgraded specialist which is gonna be very very handy indeed. And there we go, back into the sewers in uh, Russia this time. We're in uh, St. Petersburg. Constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Okay. Um, first things first, we need to get our sniper somewhere high up. Um, and it seems like we have a building over here that would suit our needs. It seems pretty central and there's a bridge leading up to the next area, but I'll be moving up and towards that direction and see you guys in a second. And we spot two batches already, so that seems to be a... I think the game called it a general for some reason. But that's an officer and a shield bearer and then a spectre and a archon, an archon. Um, which seems... Yeah, there should be another enemy in there somewhere. So Erica goes up top and we see directly into their network. If you can destroy it, it may disrupt their efforts to isolate the transmitter. And we see our first relay and then we can also get a better look. Yeah. Okay, so there's two archons and a specter up there. Uh which is fine for now. I'll just move up one more turn and then we'll start blasting. So one more turn further, the officer and shield bear completely move out of view. Which is good for us because that means the transmitter from their network. We're running out of time. Which means that we will be able to just fire on these guys indiscriminately. But as always, we're gonna start this off with a bang. Uh, so let's have Jacqueline fire a grenade on top of these guys. Uh, as far as I can throw it, there we go. That should be a nice hit to start with. Grenade lancé. A one, two, three, explosion in the pipe and flying out of it. There we go, eight, six, seven, and it feels like the spectre, what the hell is the spectre doing? So he's bouncing, I think he fell into a bottomless chasm. Yeah, and that takes him out completely. Although he is down there somewhere, but that might be a problem. And the spectre, oh, the spectre moves to the sides there. Fine. Uh, that means I can still fire with Jacqueline, of course, because she has that ability to be able to fire again if you want to. 60% uh, isn't great, but it's something. There we go. A graze, but a graze is still 5 damage. And we got the upper hand on that Archon if you want to. Okay. Then, our Sniper... 93% on that Archon with a 20% crit chance. If you go for that eye, that's 70%. 70% to get a one hit kill here. Well, a second hit kill, but... There we go, that eye did the job. Finally got a bit of use out of that ability. Then, that Spectre is in a prime position to get flanked, but I do want to be careful that I don't put Kelly in a worse position than she's already in. So, moving her in a bit of better cover, over here. Absolutely. And then I'm gonna wait. I know I have a flank shot there, but I might be able to do something better with um, a Hi uh, Heidi, is it Heidi? Yeah, I think it's Heidi. Yeah, because Heidi can actually move over here as well. And Heidi can have a critical shot. So if she pulls that off, might be able to just take it out. Still need somebody to take out the uh, the Archon there then, but 99% uh, with a 92% crit chance. There we go. Hunter's Instinct, another extra critical on that. And we get a hair trigger shot. That means that we didn't spend any action and because of Implacable we get another move as well. So we could technically move Heidi back up and shoot at the Archon, but... We're here for promotion, so if Marina can move closer over here, 
Ah, oh, crap. Okay. That was unexpected. Um, that was... Yeah, because we blew open that entire area. That's not the best we could have gotten. But I could launch an acid bomb on these guys. As a start. Yeah, let's do that. Because after that we can use... There's still quite a few people that they haven't gotten a shot off yet. So that shredding on the shield bearer and a nice bit of damage on the officer. Kelly can't do anything else, but yeah, she could do a combat protocol. But I won't be able to kill anybody with that. So I'm just going to use her to fire at the relay over there. There we go, that gives us an extra turn. Because we don't see a lot of them. The network separation has been temporarily delayed. I could go into Reaper mode. That could probably get us... Uh, how much health do the, does the officer still have left? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. So Reaper... Um, probably Archon first then. Unless I wanna... Ooh. I could, you know. I could do the officer first. Here we go. If he spots something else, I'm going to be really mad, but the chances are there. There we go. That's one guy down. Now, since I went to the middle... Yeah, okay. We did spot another relay, but we can now also uh, hack the Archon to pieces. Let's end in cover. There we go. And then I think we have a flank shot. No, we don't. We have a 66% shot on the shield bear. But if I do rapid fire, that's two 50% shots. Uh, double 50-50 should hit, right? According to mathematics. Here we go. Rapid fire. There we go. One shot was enough. That was... Yeah, Heidi just took care of everything there. So Hilda can also move down, and that's basically the last action we're gonna take. That was really, really nice. We took out six aliens in one, uh, five aliens in one turn. Aha, and there we get our next batch already. So a Lancer, Shield Bay, and a Mac. But these guys are running through, uh, through Acid, and Hilda is, uh, yeah, aiming her, uh, Cool chosen assault rifle there. Okay, seems like a prime target for another explosion. I still have the EMP bomb, an acid bomb, the shred storm cannon, and a flashbang, so I think I have enough. 75% chance to hit the Lancer over there, so if I can hit him with something else, um, that would be nice. But Kelly is a bit isolated over here. If I can put her in the corner. I think she might... No. She doesn't get sight of the mech, which is uh, logical. Now, Hilde. Hilde, on the other hand. Uh, wait, that, that, that mech is on Overwatch, so I'm going to have to be careful here. How far can Jacqueline fire her grenades? That's probably not going to be far enough, no. And i got to be careful that I don't get hit by the mech there. Yeah, the mech and the lancer, because the shield barrier I can't really hit. And the lancer can die. Yeah, I think this is a, a good option. That shield barrier, I think I can deal with that in another way. But Marina can toss her second acid bomb over there. It's going to be a bit annoying to actually leave through that side of the area now. But uh, Overwatch at least is removed. Uh, she does get salvo, so I can fire again at the mech even if I want to. Huh. Interesting. So yeah, the pillar is in the way for her to see the uh, shield bay, otherwise I would have preferred that. But, moving Hilda over here in full okay, cover. I'll go. She can actually probably take a shot at... Ooh, she can even take a shot at that relay now. But, I can also try and haywire pr protocol the mech. Or we just do combat protocol and take out the mech in one go? 
No, he still has 11 health, so he might actually survive. Can I try and hack the... Ooh. I could skull jack the shield bear. Yeah, let's do that. Let's skull jack the shield bear. It's 70% chance, but uh, we'll see. There we go. We got it. Hacking Don U. Minor cache of enemy intel. We're gonna have to go for that because Hilda's hack stat is for some reason not that high. That should be higher. I've seen that being higher. We just get the intel. There we go. And that's a shield barrier down. Now, uh, we do get a sniper rifle shot on the Lancer from here. So let's take that. 75% chance. And we get another dodge. Those dodges are really, really annoying. Well, it did do a little bit. Um, then, I could let Heidi solve it again, but that's not going to be fun, is it? Uh, let's move Jacqueline a little bit closer to see what her shots are. Jacqueline actually gets... Huh. I can actually use running gun on her. So let's see. If I use the cannon on... From Marina on the mech. That's going to damage him but not kill him. So that's 9 damage. So that leaves him with 2 health if I'm not mistaken. Then we can... Fire at the mech with Jacqueline from here. But she has running gun now. Because of her extra ability. So if you move her to this bit of cover. She actually has a better shot now. And that goes up to 71. Not too great, but I can still launch grenades from this position as well. Ah, oh, that is so over the top. Let's see what else we can still do. So that's it. It's Heidi, Jacqueline and Callie. And I think I should be able to take out the Lancer with uh, Heidi. So let's try that shot on the mech. Here we go. There we go. Ooh, the full 15 damage because uh, she has the EMP rounds, the blue screen rounds. Um, probably try and move up with uh, Kelly in a second, but is there a way for me to pass this acid field without actually getting acid burned? I don't think there is. So let's just move over here. And then I'm going to have to see, can I actually use the grapple to actually bypass the acid right now? No, doesn't seem like it. My shots are still 53. Shoot 50-50. There we go. Okay. Heidi only needs one shot. Enemies down. Enemies down indeed. And implacable, I can just stay here. And then I'm going to move Kelly up top again. Not a problem. Because uh, next turn, we really need to hit one of those relays because we're at one turn. <laughs> um, let's end the turn. So if I put Hilda... No, she needs to go through... Huh. If I put it over here... If you say so. Ah, there's a relay in the back there as well. So I can hit two relays if I want to. And now if I go... This isn't poison, right? No, this isn't. Okay, so I can technically put people on the other side of it now. Um, let's move up. So final two actions of the turn. Let's just destroy two relays. One over there. And then the other one is across the bridge. Like that. And there we go. So next turn, the acid should disappear. I can hear the sector pulled. Because yeah, that's exactly what we're still waiting for. There's a sector pod still on this level. Um, but let's move up further. Ah, Heidi can actually see another one. Ooh, all the way in the back there. So let's shoot at that. Taken out. She is running out of ammo though. So I should probably take a turn to reload her. Same as... Although I think... Does Jacqueline has, have free re reloads? Yeah, she does. So I can safely move her up. Uh, this should not be... I think the... The final aliens are near the psionic transmitter, so it should be pretty much fine. Ooh, wait. Does she still see another one? Aha! Hilda can also see one. There we go. We don't need to worry about turns anymore. We're backed up to four. That is, uh, that is amazing. Okay. See you guys in a second. 
So the breaching plan is this. We're gonna go through the door on the right with uh, Hilde and um, Marina. Um, we're gonna put her over here on this side of the door before we open it. So we scare the aliens to the other door if they want to run away. There, there's a complete other squad waiting for them. So let's open up uh, the door. And there we see the psionic transmitter. Visual on the transmitter. Plant the X4 charges before they can cut it off from the network. And as expected, they're right at this door. So now, ooh, that is yeah, that's the worst thing they could have done. Oh, but the sector bolt for some reason comes and take a look, takes a look. What the hell? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm not even. I'm not even mad about that. That is an interesting move, Sectopult. I do love the music in these missions, so I think the Shredstorm Cannon is going to be a no-go. But what we can do is use uh, Marina's EMP bomb. Although, why not both, eh? Hey, 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 why not, why not? Oh, come on. Just peek around the corner and toss it over there. That is... No, no, that's not correct. Come on, you can do it, Marina. I believe in you. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That that's gonna hit the sector pot for twelve damage. Yeah, boom indeed. Bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Hack defense decreased. Next up is some shredding. We need to get some shredding. Uh, so that was salvo. The purifier. I could even hit the purifier if I wanted to, but. I think a Shredstorm Cannon is going to be way more fun to do than just wait around for something else to happen. So I think with this, I'm going to take out way too much cover. Um, I, I want to take that staircase with me. So like this. So Hilda is going to lose her cover, but that's not going to be too bad. So Shredstorm over there. Indeed, loose cannon. Bada bloom bloom. And there goes the entire staircase. And with that also the uh, Lancer's cover. So the Lancer is out in the open. 40% crit chance. That's actually not bad. Who is she bonded with, by the way? With Erica. Hmm. Let's see what we can do by opening this door. Can we see somebody through the door? Damn, the frame rate. Okay, there we go. Open up the door. No, you don't see anybody else through the door, which is sad. But... But, 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 we're still not done. Jacqueline, Jacqueline, yeah, Jacqueline, how are you doing today? Can you launch a, a grenade over, oh yeah, I saw it. Oh, that's not gonna hit, yeah, that's not gonna hit the other one. Um, but shredding is always nice. So can you do some, the, some shredding? I'm just gonna try and take out this wall as well. Uh, maybe even, yeah, maybe even like this a little bit. Yeah, just this. Yes, because explosions are fun. There we go, another grenade in the tube. And just using all the explosives we have in our in our arsenal. There we go, some more shredding. Then, um, Jacqueline also has salvo. So, uh, ooh, I can even fire at the purifier from here. But, uh, sector pods, there you go. Bloom. And there goes the rest of his armor and 12 damage because of the blue screen rounds. And that should, uh, yeah, that should, should, you know what, Hilda still needs a promotion, right? Can you take care of that sector pot for us? Boom! Boom. And with that wall taken out, we can now also take out the purifier with Erica. <laughs> uh, explosives are fun. There we go, explosives are fun. Only the best. And the advent are gonna die, all of them. All of them. And then finally we're gonna trigger run and gun with Heidi, although... I should probably see if I can't give that promotion to anybody else. No, Kelly and Heidi are the only ones left. So let's put Heidi over here. Good copy, moving on target. Ladder plant the uh, charges. There we go. The and then... 
still working to isolate the transmitter. Yeah, no, no. Any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Bradford, they're not gonna eliminate shit, because, I mean, this, this guy's gonna die a horrible death by flying through the window. Oh, not through the window. He didn't go through the window. He's, he's doing it a little spin. Good work, Commander. There we go. Flawless missions. Our Valkyries are crushing everything in their path. Ah, I think our ladies deserve a shower after that uh, slog through the sewers. But that was another flawless mission. I'm really glad with that. Did we get promotions? No. Nothing. Okay, a few people are tired, but that's to be expected. Um, yeah, that's all around a well done mission. We get an Elidium Core and a superior scope. Probably from the loot that, uh, yeah, the, the sector pull dropped that. Now we get 20 intel from the skull mine and the wrecks and corpses of everything we killed. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. And we countered the dark event barrier, but also got a specialist for our trouble, Naraya Metha. Oh, but no, no. See, why is she marked as a specialist if she looks like a Templar? That is all, oh, game, you are cruel. You are cruel, Naraya. Why does she look? She has the Templar helmet. I'm actually wondering. No, I'm gonna have. Wait a second. Naraya sounds like a a woman to me, but ah uh, no, it's Narayan. I was thinking about the arms and the just body type. This is a dude, isn't it? Let's take away that flicking helmet. <laughs> Ah, oh, this has got to be a dude. Yeah, this is a dude. God damn it. Ah, uh, I'm, I'm officially... Because, remember, this is the Valkyrie playthrough. We only deploy female soldiers. So I'm gonna officially gonna throw away a fully upgraded specialist. Um, I'm gonna just close my eyes. Um, goodbye, Narayan. Dismiss. Oh, God. God, that just, that hurts. That was really painful. That was just really, really painful. Okay, let's just uh, ignore all of that and go, go back to scanning. God damn it. Reduce contact cost, but I mean, the entire world is basically mine already. I don't, I don't care about contact costs anymore. So let's continue building that radio relay to just make a point. Because, uh, yeah, we're basically done with taking over well taking back the world so we're gonna continue building this relay then make contact with the final areas that we need to make contact with and aha sparky 007 is now receiving repairs that means that ev has recovered yeah there we go I do not think i could have predicted this outcome gatekeeper no, autopsy is, is done i have come to suspect that this creature's unusual appearance is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. The aliens always have some reasoning to their actions, even as twisted as it is often revealed to be. And we get the alien Psy Amp, so that's basically the plasma version of the Psy Amp. We don't have Psy Troopers just yet, but uh, yeah. And with that, we're actually done with all the research tasks. <laughs> It's uh, amazing, but we went through basically every single research task there is. So let's go to the shadow chamber. Uh, I'm going to leave anyway. And in the shadow chamber, we still need to do the encrypted codex data. So let's uh, do that right now. That's going to take 10 days. So uh, perfect to me. And the hunter's axe is also complete. It's a fa very fancy axe, I suppose. I've never used that, so I don't know what it does exactly. And then in the Proving Grounds, we have... Yeah, we only have one core, so I can't really make a spark unit. Because I want to make a third one. Um, might be wondering why, because there's, you know, there's a, a trophy tied to winning a, a match with three spark units on the on the mission. So, so that's about it. And ba we basically made every single item on the list otherwise, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna leave the Proving Ground out open to do basically nothing. The Elders don't spend a lot of time worrying about the difference between soldiers and civilians. It's all the same in the end. Okay, so the Hunter has increased its, his uh, knowledge by, uh, yeah, retributing on East Asia there. Our friends in the Resistance but uh, we're not gonna care. With the chosen running we're leading you. 
We should do what we can to take them down. And there we go. They hit again. We build a radio relay on every single continent. That's a trophy in and of itself. But we can now make contact with New Australia. Make contact. There we go. And we get inside knowledge. The effect of all weapon modifications is increased. So that's basically the best upgrade that there is. The best uh, continent bonus that there is. Now, um, I'm not exactly sure what we're missing then. Oh, yeah, we're still missing one relay in North America. But I think contact-wise, are we done? Oh, is that... A covert mission? Yeah, okay, the covert mission just uh, ended while I was checking out the map. So there we go, reduce the Avatar project progress by two. And we can assign a new covert action. And we're gonna just scavenge some alien loot with Elizabeth and Gertrude. So let's confirm that and begin the action. So yeah, as far as I can see, the only thing that we need to do is put another relay on North America. And that should be it. Now... Um, my next plan is going to be to take out the Hunter. Um, I don't think we need anything specific for that mission. So I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, gonna end the episode here, because I think... I'm not actually sure. If we launch this mission... New I'm not exactly sure if we can back out, but if we can't, we'll just uh, end the episode at the start of the mission. But let's go and take a look. So we can at least set up a team. So it's chosen strongholds. We managed to find a hidden entrance. We know what that is all about. So one chance to finish this. Okay, so this is gonna be the team. It's a bit of a special combination here, but we got two bones and I'm not gonna take uh, Elena on this one because I feel like we can deal with, uh, we're better off having more damage output than having just her. So having bringing Emily and Heidi on this mission should allow us to output enough damage to kill everything on our pod. So we're going with Lena, Christina with the blue screen rounds, Emily with the dragon rounds, and a normal storm gun for once with a fusion blade and a hazmat suit, Callie with, of course, the skulljack and the medkit, Heidi with the talon rounds and the assassin gear, uh, also gave uh, Callie the disruptor rifle, which is also very important, and then Marina with the war suit, the shred storm cannon, blue screen uh, grenade, so the EMP grenade, and double acid grenade. So we're going to be very careful with our explosives, very aimed with our explosives, because as you remember, the hunter is weak to explosions. So maybe I change this at the beginning of the next episode. I'm not 100% convinced just yet. Maybe we should also take Jacqueline with us. But uh, for now, this is going to be the squad. So thank you enormously for watching. I'm going to take a little break. Next time, we're going to go on Operation Steel Saga to take out the hunter, the final chosen once and for all. But uh, before that, thank you guys enormously for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of XCOM 2 The Valkyrie Playthrough. Goodbye!